More information for Noah Hadism, I'll put the number in. Okay, now, um, well, of course, on we go. But, um, and uh, as always, the authority or degree of quality which this video presentation has defines itself, doesn't it, I suppose. But this is just, um, going on with general information for no itism, sort of like. Well, life goes on. No, we, we won't really matricize the Christendom. We'll exceed it. They're not really legal. It's an idolatrous religion. It is an official sort of thing with God, but it's not really quite legal. It, uh, but once the energy and of excitement of the founders of each denomination sort of passes over the centuries, they settle down and settles right down to eventually getting over the fact that it has a point, because it doesn't. It's just the ambitions of Jesus of Nazareth. What what happens slowly in the cogitations, the inner, inner mechanics of the mind of the church, each individual church, is that eventually they, they acknowledge facts of scripture and things like that. And eventually the debate with pretty much the Jew, Jewish rabbis for the most part, they start to acknowledge the facts that, hey, we're actually wrong. When well, Corinth's right down to, yeah, you're right, Israel. Jesus isn't really Christ or the Son of God. You know, he's not fulfilling those prophecies properly. He's just a Jewish man on his own personal agenda of pushing a salvation message, which doesn't really do much. The gospel has some inspiration, some inspiring force, and, but it's, it's just a, a basic message of spirituality. It doesn't really produce a higher standard than Torah. Uh, normally Christians just are ho-hum people who sort of live their lives and sort of love a bit. It, you know, Jesus says, I'm higher than the Torah. If you take it to extremes, it can be, but that's not what's ever achieved in practice. It's never achieved in practice. They're just the same old schmucks that have always been love bugs. That's all that's achieved in practice. They're just a bit loving as people and a bit lawful. And that's all that's really ever going on with any average Christian. That's all you'd ever really achieve if you look at yourself truly. So, when the inner mechanics of a Christendom church finally realizes it's just a bit of bullshit from Jesus and Nazareth, the, the impetus to really go on, Jesus, well, who cares? So it, it, it settles right down and it's just a way of life and then it's mostly just about keeping the rules of society and sort of biblically based legal precepts because it's just the stuff which works for human society then. And gospel ideas, loving is a good enough idea as a virtue but it's just lawful practice sort of loses the flavor of anything really to do with Christianity in the end. It's not really a Christian thing very much in the end. And my guess is it'll ultimately probably die as a Christian idea in each church. So what I'm saying is that the end of Christianity is that they're not even going to bother in the end. All your patriotic super pride in Jesus dies. Because he's not Christ and he's not the Son of God. He's just a pretty vain Jew with an ego. So, um, we're not really that. I got over it a long time ago in Jesus of Nazareth when I was a Catholic and then a Pentecostal. It's like, ah, he's... And God made it perfectly clear to me that it was a freaking idol. And it was an abomination of Christianity. So, you know, went into his Torah and he sat aside with the Noahide covenant as a thing for humanity. He's happy enough with that. So we'll go on and we'll grow and eventually... In the long term, we'll outstrip the size of Christianity, which will fall away, and we'll just get bigger than it, and we'll, we'll be probably the most official thing for the most part in humanity. 
Judaism doesn't have much rights of growth outside of Israel. So the Noahide thing will eventually be the thing. It'll take Buddha, it'll take Krishna, all that stuff. It'll eventually take, I would imagine. It's a long way off. Indeed it is. But I'd imagine eventually will be the actual thing. Islam, they'll eventually work out that it was just Muhammad having a go. He's got some legal enough ideas as well, but it was just Muhammad having a go as well. He wasn't quite Torah. He wasn't quite an official covenant. It was just on an agenda also. He doesn't have the idolatry problems quite of Jesus of Nazareth, but in the end, he also, he was just having a bloody go. He wasn't serving a Torah covenant of Almighty God. It wasn't quite on God's official thing. So what, what will happen is that we'll go on, we'll end up the thing for humanity for the most part, I would imagine. I don't think there'll be an official comp competitor very much, because we are the actual Torah covenant of God, Genesis 9. That's what we are. We're humanity's official religion. Eventually God will show the world that, I would imagine. So that's not really an issue in the end. The uh, matching the size of Christianity. I just don't think it will be. They'll, they'll, they won't really be much of a thing of the long term. The very long term. We're talking about a long time from now. Don't get me wrong. But what's, what's going to potentially be happening with prayers is um, the prayers of the A&M, the prayers of Monica and Nordism are interesting. So you could see all sorts of interesting things happen one day in prayer potentially. Go for our videos like a and culture videos and all sorts of things in you might a and prayer campaign videos and you might be in for some things which are interesting which potentially could come to be in time. I guess God eventually gets around to our prayers also. But life will go on for the time being and I think there probably is life coming, new life coming in a number of years as I've said when God probably has some seed prepared for us which is a uh, as he answers the prayers, he, well, he makes the babies when I ask for Noahites, you know, sort of mentality. So, um, yeah. <laughs>